and we back. <clears throat> Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 10. Come on now. Focus. <clears throat> season 10, episode 6, All Aboard the Shady Express. Perfect title because it wasn't nothing but shade this whole motherfucking episode. Pick up what we left off, <clears throat> where Nene is saying to Portia, you should be disciplined for what you did to Gammy. And you have Portia. I, I'm going to do a little bit of back and forth here. You have Portia saying, so you're fighting uh, her battles now. And then they have, you know, back and forth. Fuck you, no fuck you, no fuck you, no fuck you. Whole lot of fuck yous. Whole lot of fuck yous. And then it's just like, um, I think Portia was like, you shouldn't be here. Then he said, you shouldn't be here. I started this. You wouldn't be here if it wasn't for a bitch like me. Everybody leaves Portia. Leaves. <clears throat> and all that's left is Portia. <clears throat> and Sheree, now, I've seen other people reviews. I know some people feel the kind of way because everybody left, but <clears throat> everybody that left for the most part has an issue with Portia minus Marlo. But at the same exact time, given the principle of everything, it's just like, well, I mean, given everything that has happened, yeah, I probably would have left too if I was there, I'm, even though I wouldn't have a reason to be there, but you know I'm just saying. So, <clears throat> Portia's crying. And I'm going to say what she say, and I'm going to break down some of the shit that she said. That she said. Because y'all know I don't see it for Portia. I didn't see it for fake truth. But she said she feels, but she felt away because everybody left. Now you see how it feels to be alone, alone. Because whenever shit went down and Portia was clinging to certain people and they left other people alone, same exact shit, you getting it right back. Karma's a bitch. She says she's never been around a group of women who loves to tear her down. You've been on this show for how long? And were you not on the opposite end, tearing down Candy, tearing down Kenya, trying to sit here and lead the forces against both women? <clears throat> but okay. She says, if you were my big sister, referencing Nene, why would you start a smear campaign? Same spirit campaign you started last season because, yes, even though <clears throat> some of that was spearheaded by Phaedra, Phaedra didn't go back spread. And she told, she said to you and to Sheree, Sheree carried the bone one time, but it was Portia that l kept that shit going. Literally was the fucking momentum that caused that snowball to pretty much become what the fuck it was. And then she said, <clears throat> she needs to answer for the things that she has done. And she is most definitely right. Nene has done a lot of shit that she has yet to answer for. But I will reckon that with Karma came back and got her ass for it. That's what I believe. Hence, she's back on the fucking show. And then she talks about, you know, her and this bully campaign in reference to Nene. Okay. Like, you ain't even shit the motherfucking candy, though. But, all right. The next day, you know, Needy hugs everybody with Portia. I laugh. They're on the trolley. Kenya shows them the video uh, that she made for her grandma's funeral. Kenya's emotional. Portia starts to cry, and she walks away to the other end of the trolley because she feels bad. And given the strife, it would be like that would have been the time for her to reach out to Kenya, but knowing that she couldn't. And you actually could have, because she said her uncle passed away. But I'm finna call bullshit, because she needed a fucking senior, and she needed the attention on her. And now, this ain't, this has nothing to do with me not liking her, but here's why I say that. Cynthia goes over to talk to her. She says, with Kenya and everything else going on, dot, dot, dot. But she never once said, I'm crying because Kenya just spoke about her grandmother. I recently just lost my uncle, so I understand the hurt, and that's why I'm overcome with emotion, and I feel bad that because of shit that I've done, that me and K I can't reach out to Kenya, but you're the reason that you didn't reach out, and if you were really crying because of your bro of your uncle, you would have said that to Cynthia. Mix me with the bullshit. <clears throat> what the fuck else? And Cynthia shares her experience with our needy, and again, on some real shit. What Nene did to Cynthia is way worse than what the fuck 
Nene is doing to Portia. And even though I don't listen to this nation, I've heard quite a few people say that she has really said a lot of shit about Nene. And here's the thing. <clears throat> Bravo, more or less Andy, for people that Andy likes, he tries to paint them in a certain picture. Like up until this past season, <clears throat> he did his best to try to make uh, Phaedra look good because he loved her and loved her kids. <clears throat> And the only clip he keeps showing from this nation is just that one of speaking blessings. Now, either A, that's the only clip that they are releasing, or B, he likes Portia enough that he's trying to sit here and protect her and make her look good and look um, <clears throat> like the victim. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> what the fuck else is now? So the girls split up. <clears throat> Sheree, Marlo, and Portia, they go to Chinatown. Portia's just like, I love Chinatown. It's like I stepped off the trolley into Tokyo. I really hope she's never been to Asia because she really made herself look so stupid, but I ain't gonna touch it. The girls say they're gonna do something nice for Kia to raise her spirits. They're going to throw her a uh, impromptu wedding. Other girls, Nini, Cindy, and Kenya Candy, <clears throat> they talk about well, they're uh, standing away from Alcatraz, and Nene's just like, oh, maybe that's where um, Sheree's boyfriend is. And then Candy asks, why was she so shocked? And she was like, well, I know I knew Tyrone before her, which that makes me think that, you know, did you do something with him? Because, you know, it's the fact that you do that, that I knew him before her. Because all she had to just say is, <clears throat> I know him. I know that he... <clears throat> Uh, calm people out of money. But whatever. And now the shade. Now here's where the shade really picks up. So Candy is like, well, I hope uh, he don't uh, count her at a Chateau Sheree. Y'all know I love Candy, but it is what it is. And then Candy's like, well, he can't because <laughs> And you got people saying it's not shade if it's true. Yes, it can still be shade. Damn it, it can still be shade. <clears throat> so you have Kenya's impromptu wedding. And I know uh, Candy's supposed to be friends with Kenya. I don't think that she's real, real good friends. I think it's a, a friendship of convenience because with all this going on, she was a little too into this fucking uh, wedding. You know what I'm saying? I, I felt the ways about that. Like, if you really friends with a motherfucker <clears throat> and they're trying to paint it as, oh, we are um, doing something nice for her and, oh, y'all want it. Y'all want to get a rise out of her. Y'all want to have a fucking TV moment. And I like Kenya. Like I said, my favorite is Candy, even though Candy be on that bullshit. Then Cynthia. I like Kenya, but I'm glad Kenya saw it for what the fuck it was worth. And she didn't give in to it. She was just like, okay, I'm going to just sit here and play along with it. You know, hey, let's eat my cake. Like, literally took all the power away from the ass. And I'm just like, all right, good shit, good shit. At one point... <clears throat> Portia <clears throat> pulls Candy to the side and she says, I know that you're not feeling me. I apologize again. I want to accept any wrong play. <clears throat> now, a lot of people just like, well, Candy should have, da da da. And my thing is this <clears throat> one, you can't never tell nobody when the fucking lesson shit go. It is what it is. That's my stance. Because I'm going through something <laughs> personally similar to that. I ain't going to talk about it. I talk, I'll probably talk about later when more shit gets resolved, but it is what it is. I hold grudges. I really do. But, <clears throat> I didn't like it. <clears throat> and it, maybe it's just me, but she never once said what she did. It's just, <clears throat> I hate that whole, if I made you feel ways or I accept my pardon. No, why don't you say, you know what, I apologize for sitting here and siding with Phaedra, I apologize for sitting here and taking what she said and held it as true. I am sorry for sitting here and blasting you the way that I did, spreading lies. I am sorry that because of this, you were villainized <clears throat> by the media. I'm sorry that I affect your bottom line. And you, that's what, she, but she never said any of that. Plus, at the same exact time, if you were really sorry, why are you waiting until the camera start rolling? Again, miss me. <clears throat> so, 
she pretty much just says, Candy says, so I just want us to have fun with girl. <laughs> so they get on the train to Napa. And Portia went to the bathroom first. So when she came back, the only available seat was with um, <clears throat> Candy and. Did I write that down? Candy. Candy, can you? Candy decides that, you know what? <clears throat> for me to ignore her, it's going to make shit miserable for me. So I'm going to just suck it up. I'm going to say this. <laughs> if I ain't fucking with you, I ain't got shit to say to you. I would be like, can you excuse me? Let me get up. I would have sat at the table by myself. I would have been on my phone like this. Or <clears throat> would have pulled out my Nintendo DS. I would show you my Switch, but my Switch is actually plugged into the fucking base or whatnot. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I wouldn't have been sick. I'm not going to sit here and break bread with a motherfucker I don't like. But when it comes to work and business, I know how to be cordial and professional. Fake the funk, if you will. And because they're filming, this is actually work for them. So <clears throat> she decides, Candy decides, Candy made it seem like she was talking, you no know, Candy through jabs. And I know a lot of people got mad at it, but here's the thing, shit. I, I, I told you I said the motherfucker that came me fucking left. What the fuck you gonna do? Say some more shit to me? And Fur look stupid. So, Portia had uh, asked if something that they had was vegan. And <laughs> Jay was like, how long did you give? I only give like a couple of weeks. Shade. Um, and she's like, Portia's like, well, you know, I lost some weight this after. She's like, yeah, you were a little bit chunky. Like, you were missing the meals now, that candy. Candy, you know, I love you, but come on now. Okay, you 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 was you was the thickums for a couple of you know fucking season. You be the main one that be stuffing your face and shit. Don't don't do it, can don't do it. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> Portia's like, you know, I'm glad that you and the girls y'all made up, escape y'all made up and everything. Cause you know, like, I was just hope like, cause I can't wait to come see y'all. <laughs> and Candy's like, I didn't invite you. <laughs> it was shady, but I fucking enjoyed the shit. And of course, the other table they charade like they talk about Sheree, and she pretty much said he went to jail for security and wire fraud. I don't really give a damn. He he was a thief. He in jail. Moving fuck on. And they even pulled Candy over. Hey, yeah, can Candy do shit like and people mad at Candy. I don't really give a fuck. She could be mad because on some real shit, if a motherfucker sat here and Bill like came at you left, <clears throat> motherfuckers like and it's not just. A few people calling you something. You have pe like you have people nationwide calling you Peel Cosby and all this other shit. And here's the thing: the truth gonna make it around fast. I'm sorry, a lie gonna travel faster than the truth. And even when the truth comes out, most people are never going to sit here and accept the truth, especially when you're dealing with sexual assault, rape, claims, things of that nature. No matter if the shit came back completely false, <clears throat> most of the time people still not gonna let you off the hook for it. And of course, yes, that affected her fucking money because here's the thing. Candy can walk away from Real Housewives of Atlanta and be good. And wait, am I... You know, and before I fuck... Let me, let me put a pin in this. <coughs> Hold on. Right there. <clears throat> Candy can walk away from this and be okay. Kenya can walk away from this and be okay. I'm not too sure about Cindy because I don't know... <clears throat> If her other uh, nest eggs are good, because we still ain't seen them shades by Bailey and the book bags and everything, no shade. <clears throat> but Candy don't need to come back to the show. Candy is sufficient without it. This is just increasing her bottom line. And with all the bullshit <clears throat> that Porsche is talking, if she really feels the kind of way, she could have removed herself from the cast or became a friend of the cast. She definitely could have, but she would fall into that Nene syndrome where Nene thought she was better than the show and when her name was no longer attached to the Real Housewives of Atlanta because that extra driving force is what makes people want to have it because, okay, that audience is going to come and support. <clears throat> a lot of her shit was just like, okay, we don't want you, we don't want you, we don't want you. She thought she was popping and look where the fuck she's at now. And you see that Portia went one season, friend of the cast, and she came right the fuck back like, okay, I'm going to sing a different fucking tune. So let's be very fucking clear. And the whole Disney Nation job, 
I can damn near bet my next motherfucking paycheck if she leaves Real Housewives of Atlanta. It's only a matter of time before they release her from Dish Nation. Only a matter of fucking time. <clears throat> and I'm not wishing that on her, but I mean, come on now. Let, let's let's be real. Most people only listen to that because of the title of her being on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So, if it really was that fucking serious. Anyway, <clears throat> Kenya and uh, Portia talk a lot of it was what Mark don't like about her, meaning Kenya. But one thing that uh, came up was accountability. Because, you know, Portia, you know, uh, <clears throat> was saying that she really apologizes for her part and she was that she would have never gotten so mixed up in the shit. But some of what she is saying to Kenya and some of the things that she is saying in her professional, she's not saying to Candy. And again, some of it is literally say, stating exactly what the fuck you did, not if I offended you. But Kenya made a great point. It's going to take action, not what the fuck you're saying. It's going to take action. And Ken even says that an issue that <clears throat> Portia has is <clears throat> when someone is talking to her, she does, she's not receiving what it is that they're saying. She's too busy being combative. So they get to Napa. <clears throat> the guy that's there is feeding them grapes. Marlo deep, Marlo deep throw to them fucking grapes. Showed y'all she ain't got no motherfucking gag reflex, but I think we all know partially how she getting her money out. It is what it is. Next day, Kenya leaves. And she feels that, you know, the girls are finally on her side. I think come to the reunion, she's going to be feeling different because we see how quick, quickly they are not. <laughs> Candy brings up the fact when she was in New York, because that's Sheree brought up that, you know, she was on the cover of Essence. Segway, well, she was already in New York when they was there. Her and Ty drove by Mark's place. But, you know, she was saying how, oh, yeah, um, we shouldn't... <clears throat> We shouldn't go in because Kenya be mad. And that was one of those longest like, I felt a ways about that. I really did. <clears throat> and it's just like, she ain't friends with Kenya for real. Because it's, it's certain shit that you just don't do, especially when you friends with somebody for real, for real. <clears throat> Cynthia says that, you know, Kenya is probably the way she is because her relationships are always scrutinized. And, you know, Marlo wants to play a game of who thinks that Kenya's relationship is real. Because Marlo kept asking all these different questions and pretty much saying that, you know, uh, Cynthia is front because you know you feel the ways. Cynthia get, uh, leaves the room because she's like, I don't want to deal with this and she is crying. Now, one thing that I will say, <clears throat> I'm not mad at <clears throat> Cynthia for that. I think Cynthia did <clears throat> a little bit too much. Because like I said, I'm friends with a lot of different people, and I belong to different groups. And I'm talking about YouTube, profession, personal life, life. I belong to different groups. <clears throat> Even when I've been in the military, you know, I know everybody. Damn, I, well, fuck, y'all know I'm in the military. But <clears throat> there's people that just don't get along. Like, it's motherfuckers that I don't fuck with. And if I bring up somebody's name and somebody be like, oh, that's, oh, I'm cool with that person, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to just stop talking about it because I ain't got shit nice to say about that person. But it's the same, it's the flip way. Somebody bring up somebody's name, <clears throat> I let them know, like, hey, man, I'm cool with that person. Do me a favor. Can you refrain from talking shit or bring up that person? If they say no, you're grown. I can't make you do anything. I remove myself from the situation. I do that in many different aspects. So I feel Cindy should have been up and left. But she gets up and leaves. Everybody feels the way Nene goes out there and literally baits her ass in. And then she starts to sit here and tell her true feelings to fucking Nene, which I didn't agree with. And then she goes back in and allows the girls to, you know, get in. Like, she, like the girls got in her head. She's just like, well, you know, I do feel the way. And da, da, da. and it's just like, damn it, Cynthia, you took the fucking bait. But that's it. That was the episode. <clears throat> So it started at 19 minutes and 28 seconds. So, yeah, I'll give y'all about a fucking 20 minute review. I got Married to Medicine, two more fucking shows, and I'm done for the night. All I gotta do is end up with these up. So, Married to Medicine is next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys for the next two videos. <laughs>